Hey guys, this is Chris, the Old School Picker. We're back in the garage. It's raining outside. We had a pretty good sale day yesterday, so it's time to pull some orders. First order I have going out, I uh, bought it at a thrift store just like three or four days ago. I uh, thought it would be better than it actually was, and that's all right. I've paid 99 cents for it. It's a Nikon nickel battery for remote control cars or boats or whatever. I paid 99 cents for it and uh, listed it for 6.95 plus shipping. I thought it would be, I thought it would be closer to 10 or 15 dollars. I didn't even look it up. Uh, guy sent me an offer for four dollars. I just went ahead and took it because. Once I realized it wasn't that good, I just wanted to get rid of it. So, 99 cents, sold it for $4. Next order I have uh, was the Simpsons Complete Season 7. Uh, it Not all of them come in this type case, but um, the ones that do sell for a little better, the other ones just come in a regular case. I believe they call this the Marge Head case. I bought it for a dollar uh, at the Goodwill, and it sold for ten ninety five plus shipping. And I just had this listed for less than a week too, so decent flip. Next order I had going out, uh, a guy actually gave this to me. It's a, um, I think it goes on like a industrial boiler or a hot water heater. Uh, it's just a big gauge. It's brand new, sealed. Uh, like I said, a guy gave this to me, and I've had it for a, I've had it for like a year and a half, two years, something like that. It's been I've had it forever and been listed forever, but it finally sold, and it was worth the wait because it sold for forty nine ninety five plus shipping. So good sale. Um, it just took a while. But that's okay. Some sometimes that's okay. Next order I have is this uh, Hayes manual, Haynes manual car manual um i bought a lot of these quite a while ago and i think this come in it i've got a bunch of them if you can see them there um i have less than a dollar in it i think i paid like 75 cents a piece for them i bought them in pretty good size lot and uh it sold for 5.95 plus shipping these don't sell for a lot but I usually I'll pick them up for you know 50 cents, 75 cents, sometimes a dollar if it's something good. But this was the Ford pickup Bronco, 1980 through 96. So just something to keep your eye out for. These will sell. Uh, good store fillers, shelf fillers, and uh, bread and butter is what I call it. So pick them up if you see them if they're cheap. Next order I had going out was this uh, Bill and Gloria Gaither. Uh, they're Christian Singers um, CD, uh, 2017 Homecoming. It is new, sealed. I picked it up for 50 cents. Uh, once again, not a great buy or sale. Uh, sold for 4.95 plus shipping. Next order I have uh, Marvel's Legends uh, Thor figure. He's missing a lot of his parts. He's just the figure only. He has no weapons. I think he has originally had a cape. Um, I just love fooling with this stuff. Not a whole lot of money here either. Uh, I picked him up, I think, in a lot of stuff. Um, and I just listed him just to get rid of him because I had him. I didn't, I didn't buy this figure in particular. I bought it. It come with a lot of other stuff I bought, so I just went ahead and listed it. Uh, so for four dollars plus shipping, I believe I took a best offer on it as well. I've had it for quite a while, so you know, four dollars. I mean, that's not much, but it's four more dollars than I had. So, and like I said, I didn't really pay anything for it. Next order I had was this uh, Jeremy Camp. He is a Christian artist as well, singer. Uh, books like this are typically not worth anything. They're not worth fooling with. I picked this up at a thrift store. I can't remember if it was just a regular thrift store or the Goodwill. But what made this one so good was it was autographed. If I can find it here. 
it's in really good shape as well it is autographed so you know if this book wasn't autographed it would probably be worth like three bucks or something plus shipping um but because it was autographed and i just listed this like a week maybe two weeks ago something like that it sold for 29.95 plus shipping so even cheap books like this i mean this book they probably made millions and millions and sold them at walmart you know regular price on it was just 14.99 but um keep your eye out for books like this because a lot of them will be autographed and autographed books can sell for half you know decent money so 29.95 and i paid a dollar for it so I, I thought that was a good sale all right next order i had going out was this dvd uh daft i have no idea it's um anytime i see a dvd that is odd i always look them up i bought this for a dollar and it sold for 10.95 plus shipping and DAF stands for a story about drugs, androids, firemen, and tomatoes. I have no idea what it's about, but I looked it up, and it looked like it was a decent sale, so I picked it up, sold it for ten ninety five. Next order I had going out was this Maple Story. It's the Japan version, uh, Nintendo uh, 3DS game. Picked this up from my dollar source. Every now and then they'll have loose video games and uh it is brand new sealed and it sold for 17.95 plus shipping so decent sale there all right next order i had going out is this poster it's uh i'll put a picture up here about it um rwby it's a anime cartoon i don't even know i've sold a bunch of stuff here lately that i don't even know what it is but anyways it sold i bought this on a pallet auction uh it's been a few years ago or I was buying I got a few years ago I was get I got where I was buying a lot of pallets and uh, I bought one pallet that had two or three hundred posters brand new posters on it and I've still got several um, but I sell some every now and then um, I done really good on the pallets and the posters are just kind of one of those things that stick around for a while but the good thing is like I would I have multiple quantities of them like i had like five or six of this one so it's only one listing this one i took a best offer on 725 free shipping i do free shipping on the posters all right this game uh, or this order just then come in actually uh if you watched my last video i believe it was uh, about uh, six games for 30 dollars. so i basically have five dollars in this one this was not one of the great ones but i knew it would sell quick because every time i get this game it sells if I price it right, it sells within 24 hours, and this one did as well. And it sold for $10.95 plus shipping. So, you know, I already got $10 of the 30 back, and that was not one of the good games. So, I think that'll turn out to be a really good deal. I got a few orders on the new account, so let's look at those now. Next order I had going out was these vintage cake toppers. They're not in the greatest of shape, but they're old, so they're pretty cool. I sent a best offer out for eight fifty free shipping. This was on the new account. Um, I got a big old bag, like a Ziploc bag of these, and I just divided them up. I should have sold them all as one lot, but I didn't. I divided them up into three lots, but uh, and I paid like two dollars for the whole bag. So eight fifty. So this lot for eight fifty free shipping. Order I had going out was bingo, bingo, a bingo license plate, vintage license plate. It is new, old stock, pretty cool. I bought a lot of these uh, just like a week ago, actually. About, I think there was like 30 of them. And they were, they, let's see, they were all a dollar to two dollars a piece. So I don't remember exactly what I paid for this one. It was either one, it was either a dollar, a dollar fifty, or two dollars. So two dollars or less. And I sold it to for, uh, sold it for fourteen ninety five plus shipping. But the greatest thing about that sale was it was a viewer sale. So uh, I appreciate it. Um, he had I'll link his YouTube channel above. Uh, Patriot Picker. If you've not watched his videos, check them out. And uh, y'all gonna think I'm making this stuff up, but uh, his name is Chris as well. So <laughs> there are so many Chris's in the YouTube wor YouTube world. I talked about a Chris uh, last video, Flip with Chris. Well, this was Chris Patriot Picker. So, uh, Chris, if you're watching, I appreciate it. 
uh, I hope you do well with your YouTube channel I appreciate the the sale um, keep on doing what you're doing he had a he must live by Kevin Commonwealth picker because he had him uh, out on a set down interview uh, not too long ago his I think it was Patriot pickers last video so if you've not checked him out or check that video out uh, go on there and check it out um, everybody loves Kevin Commonwealth picker and I'm pretty sure everybody knows him so to see him in a different different uh, atmosphere than what we normally see on his channel was pretty cool so I enjoyed that video uh, Chris uh, you done well with it and Kevin if you if you're watching you done good too but um so check Patriot Picker out once again, Chris. I appreciate the buy. Thanks, man. All right, that'll be all for this video. I've got several things here to pack up. Uh, just kind of a little midweek video of some of my sales for the midweek. Uh, appreciate everybody watching. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe. Go check out Chris Patriot Picker's YouTube channel. Uh, tell him Old School Picker sent you. And uh, appreciate everybody watching. Old School Picker out.